The impact of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, particularly the loss of life and livelihoods, has been devastating for the region. I'm proud that the UK was the first international partner to donate to the International Committee of the Red Cross Humanitarian Response. We gave a million pounds, or 660 million drams. We are currently working with the UNDP in the communities of Sunik, Vyatsdor and Gegarkunik to provide psychological support and help create new economic opportunities for those affected by the conflict. The UK is also committed to helping clear up all the weapons, landmines and explosives that remain after the war, endangering lives and limiting the use of the land. So I'm delighted that the UK's Minister for the European Neighbourhood, Wendy Morton, has announced the contribution of half a million pounds, 330 million drams, to support UNDP efforts in and around Nagorno-Karabakh. We hope other international partners will support the UN with this important work, and we call on all parties to work with the UN to allow full access for the UN and other humanitarian agencies across all areas affected by the conflict. Our contribution also recognises the UK's commitment to help rid the world of landmines. That is why we firmly support the Anti-Personnel Mine Ban Convention. The UK strongly encourages Armenia and Azerbaijan to sign this convention, known as the Ottawa Treaty, which commits to halting the spread of landmines. Together we can contribute to a more peaceful and prosperous future for all those affected by last year's conflict.